Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy Rob from Panther Vision, and today I want to show you how to create the golden ratio. But before we do that, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updates with new tutorials because I'm updating and uploading every day. So let's do this. First thing, we're going to create the first uh, square, a perfect square. You got the rectangle tool, select the rectangle tool, press Shift plus Alt. And then draw your first square, okay? Uh, we're going to dissect this in two parts. We're going to press Control c and then Control f And we're going to grab the left side and uh, put this part right in the middle. So now we have two pieces. We're going to select the pen tool or you can go in this panel here and long press and select the pen tool. Uh, so we're going to drag a line from here to here, okay? And this line basically going to dictate how where the square, the rest of the square going to go. So uh, the size of the line basically going to go down into this part. But we can do that in a different way. I'm going to show you that also. But the first thing we, go, we want to do with this line is basically um, go to the rotation tool right here, the rotate tool click on it press and hold alt and prick click on here on the anchor point of the bottom of the line okay and now click preview and just bring this down somewhere around here it's going to be like 33.5 ish okay we're going to click okay somewhere there uh, so as you can see, the next square going to be this big as here, this line. So it's going to go like this far. Uh, another method, basically, how you can calculate where this uh, ending going to go is, of course, we're going to press Control plus Y first to make this and select this uh, circle, the ellipse tool. And right now, what we want what we want to do is. Uh, Go to this anchor point, press Shift plus Salt and hold it. And we're going to create another circle. And we're going to create the circle right on this edge here. We're going to try to make it as perfect as possible. Right there, something like that. And we're going to press Control Y. Of course, it's not perfect, but uh, it's like some... Basically, this is the second theory, like how to do this stuff. This is the most uh, precise one. Not the best precise, but uh, the main idea is, you know, to grab this line and put it down in there. So we're going to press Control Y again. And uh, we're going to select this again and uh, double click on this. And you can see... Whoa, not like that. I didn't do it correctly. Like press Alt and then press here. As you can see, this thing is going in the right way. It's like it's the same thing. So anyways, what we're going to do is um, I'm going to delete this one now and also this in here. Now we're going to make the second square starting from here and extending to this part. We don't need this one. Now what we're going to do is uh, and grab this square and uh, make it smaller until the anchor points and lines hit each other. Hopefully they will. Just a sec. Oh, there you go. They intersect right here. Cool. Now we're going to go to the next and this is how until we do a kind of a snail kind of style. There you go. You copy paste with the alt. Don't forget that you press and hold alt and move the shape. You know, you select it, press and hold alt and you created another shape. This is how you copy paste those. Uh, we're going to make another one, a little one. Go here. And this should intersect right here. So from here, we're going to make, you know, the circles that uh, circular kind of stuff that goes on and on. And what we're going to do is uh, select the ellipse tool from here. And we're going to go on this anchor point again, create the circle. 
and go right up and intersect with the path. Okay, we're gonna click A, the A button, or you can select the direct selection tool from the menu and select this anchor point and this anchor point and click delete. Whoops, I clicked twice. Okay, now as we have this, uh, we're gonna create another copy, press and hold Alt, drag it to the right, press Shift, rotate this twice. So we're gonna put this right here and this anchor point, press and hold Shift, and there you go. We're gonna create another copy, press and hold Alt, and drag it, press and hold Shift, rotate it, we're gonna isolate it right here and again press and hold shift and scale it down. Something like that. I don't know, is this perfect? No, it's not. Uh, it should go somewhere around here. Okay, cool. Anyways, almost perfect, almost perfect. And we do the same thing over and over again until we got to the end. Basically, this can go like forever and ever in these squares until you know, you get bored. But, uh, you know, we're just gonna keep it simple as it should be. Almost done. We're almost done in here. Let me... Last one. And we're going to select this also and press this. So it's going to... And there you have it. You have this snail kind of uh, golden ratio stuff. You also can put the golden ratio circles in it. So what we're going to do is uh, select the ellipse tool again. And as you can see, when I uh, move the cursor around this place, it's going to show you, you the center point. So we're going to press and hold shift and Alt at the same time and create the circle. Do the same thing here. You got uh, the center point and from there we're gonna create the circle. It basically isolates perfectly. Yeah, so these guides, if you don't have these guides, I think you got the view and you got the smart guide in here. You need to check the smart guide in order to see all the guides. If I uncheck this stuff, there's like no guides in here. I don't know where's the cent center point. So we're going to go back and click smart guide again. And you can see the smart guide appears. You can see the angles align 120. There's another one, 40, 30, 45, stuff like that. So it's really, really helpful. And we are almost done. There you go. So right now we have like more more stuff going on. I gonna group these together so they don't melt. Can press Control G, select a different color, just a gray. Put these to the bottom. Okay. So now, as you can see, we got the golden circles, we got the golden squares, and we have this uh, golden uh, spiral kind of thing. So this is one way to do it. Um, yeah, so uh, thanks for watching. Hope it helped. Uh, don't forget to check the other videos also. And yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye-bye.